Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargard.com. This tutorial will look at using mail merge within Microsoft Word. Now mail merge, as its name suggests, is a great tool for producing customised mailings. In this example, I would like to send this letter out to all the members of my gym. Now I have the, the details of the members of the gym stored somewhere in an Excel spreadsheet. So what I'd like to do is merge the two documents together both this letter and the spreadsheet. So it'll produce a personalized copy of this letter, each one with a name and address for the required member from the Excel spreadsheet. Now to start this off, I need to be on my mailings tab. And you can see on here, I have a button for start mail merge. Which when I click, will ask me what type of document I would like to produce. Now I already have letters selected here, but you see other options are for envelopes, labels, you would do some email messages and so on. I'm going to click on letters, let no longer using a letter. Now the next step is to select the recipients. Yeah, so Word would like to know where these members are that I want to create, use to customise these letters. Now I can create a new list now, which is great for uh, people coming for job interviews with you will not have the details on file and you like to produce maybe three copies quickly so you can get a customised letter out to each one. Do I want to use an existing list? That is what I'm going to do now. I do have my details in a spreadsheet. Or I could use my contacts within Outlook. I'm going to click on use existing list and I'm going to navigate to my Hercules spreadsheet and open it up. Because I'm using an Excel spreadsheet, it will now ask me what sheet of that workbook are the members' details on. It already has my member sheets selected, so I'm just going to click on OK. And that is done. You see a lot of the other buttons and the ribbon will now kind of come to life so that I may use them. Now if I choose to at this point, I could click on the Edge Recipient List button and that would enable me to, to sort my list, filter my list, exclude certain members, that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to send my letter to all the members of my gym. So the next step will be to insert the appropriate merge fields. Now the first thing I'd like is my address block. I like their name and address details in this top left hand corner. To do that I'm going to use the address block button. Yeah, This is perfect for inserting all address related fields, saving you the hassle of inserting them all individually and formatting them as you wish. So I'm going to click on address block, which will take me to the insert address block dialog box. I can see a preview of my data on the right hand side there. This gives you an idea as to if there's a problem with that data or how it looks. i also got the option of formatting the way that it looks, should I wish to. Now as it happens there is a problem with my data. Uh, I'm using a UK address. And you can see there's been a problem with bringing in the county. I have Hornchurch, which is a town. I don't have the postcode, but it's missing the county. So I'm going to use my Match Fields button here to match up uh, a field that's obviously been missed. If I click on there, this will show me the matching. So courtesy title has been matched with title, first name to first name, address one to address. The names are similar and they've recognised each other. You can see... Uh, where we mentioned state, that the kind of UK equivalent uh, kind of would be county, and it has not been picked up. So I'm going to have to manually match them up myself. Click on OK, and now I can see the county appear in the address. I can now click on OK again, and a mail merge field will appear in my document. Now at any point, I can click on this preview results button and see how my finished or my merged letter would look. I can see that looks okay. I can also use the arrows to, to scan for other members just to get an idea of how they look. Usually there's no real need to do that because if one looks okay, they they all will. That's not strictly true, there are exceptions to the rule, but usually it's not you don't have to go through all of your list of recipients to make sure they look okay. Continuing on where we left off, I'm just going to insert some mail fields in the greeting line here, after the word dear, 
I'm going to use the insert merge field button this time, which means I can individually insert whatever field I choose. I'm going to click on the bottom half of this button, click on title, put a space, bottom half of the button again, and choose last name. Very important when inserting mail merge fields that you remember to put spaces in, uh, carriage returns, everything that you would normally do as if you were actually typing the words yourself. It's also important to mention that I can always turn this preview results button off. Most people may prefer to work with it on so you can actually see your results. Uh, whereas tried and trusted mail merge users may be happy to turn it off and work with the fields instead. One more field I would like to insert is just at the end of this first paragraph here, where it's asking for the membership fee of that individual. Now that fee is different depending on the type of membership they have. So another classic Malmage field, because it would be personalised to that member. So once again, click in the appropriate place, insert merge field, fee, and then goes to the merge field. My well, Malmage is now ready to complete. So right at the end of the ribbon, I have finish and merge, giving me the option to either edit individual documents, so create a new document from the merge, which I can edit further or save for future printing and use. I could send it straight to the printer, or I could also email uh, this out, send it via email. I'm gonna go for edit individual documents, and last question will be, now do I want to merge all my documents in this instance? You know, would I like to just do the current record or a range of records? I'm going to leave it as all because I don't have that many records. If we're dealing with thousands, you, know, you might want to do batches at a time, especially if you're sending it to the printer. I'm going to leave it as all, click on OK, and Word will merge my documents. I can see at the bottom that I now have 14 Documents, 14 letters, each one personalised as per the data in my data source. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our Computer Gaga YouTube channel or come and see us at www.computergargard.com for many more Microsoft Office tutorials.